Hello folks, today is day 11 and here's a close-up chart of Harrison Bay showing the density of the sites. out to be a nice day today. It's uh, not sure I'll get as much solar energy as I wanted because the sun is really low angle. I'm going to head over and look at this uh, other boat site. It was the one that I originally intended to use. Chose not to because it didn't have much relief over here. There wasn't, it looked like it was pretty low land. Not as much rock. Although it does look better exposed to the sun, but I'm hoping that I can gain enough uh, solar energy to get through the night. I just need to get through the night. I've got my backup battery charging too, so that'll get me home. You can see the sign there. Managed to get into the boat and forget my phone, which I need for controlling the camera since it's kind of mounted on the top of the kayak. I can't. Uh, very easily do that control manually. I have to use the phone. So. And of course that was one item that I forgot. I brought binoculars and cameras and everything else under the sun but not my phone. So I had to get back out of the kayak which is always a balancing act. There's the uh, boat site. We're just kind of coming around the rock here. And this would have been very well exposed. The sun, there's no question about that. And actually, there is a fair amount of rock here. Yeah, it would have been a good site. Probably more sun here. So our intention here is to kind of swing around this far northeastern bay, see if I can spot some wildlife. It's supposed to get real shallow in this bay, so beautiful fall day. Good day for the last day of the trip. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow for move driving home too which is always nice so I'm hoping the loading goes well getting warm mid 70s I would guess right now which is unusual for this late in the season Pretty shallow. Oop, I'm hitting the bottom there, so Let's see if I'm going out on the other side here where there's no weeds over there. That's probably deeper. Yeah, it's a little deeper here. I'm gonna check this out, see if I could use this in an in emergency in the future for a back boat site. It looks deep enough here that I could motor in here. Get the prop all going up with weeds are. There's a big Bald eagle, immature. Did you see that? He was up on top of the tree. I didn't see him. It was so dark. Ooh, there's some ducks too. A flock of ducks that are getting ready to migrate. It's pretty shallow. So I don't think I could get in here. There's another one down there further. So we'll look at this. We'll go over and check this other one. There's one here that all oh, this is only a foot deep. There's a narrow channel down the middle, kind of, but. Uh, this is too shallow to come in here. Breeze coming up. It's deep enough here to get in with the boat. That's the place I'm talking about right there. I think it would be feasible to come in there and well, check it out. If this place was full and you had to get out of it, out of the way in here and tie behind this corner and then it would be out of sight. At least three feet here. This gets shallow fast here though. So you couldn't tie up on the back side. It would have to be right here I think. And I could tie up right here. Be a backup. In reality I don't know if I'd come here anyway because too many people on this site. 
there was no firewood at my site, so I'll just use the fire ring if I'm going to do any fire tonight. Although I could probably cut some firewood, I suppose. But I didn't see anything handy, and I don't really want to go through all the effort to cut much firewood for tonight. So. Heading back to the boat now. Had a bigger lunch than usual. I don't usually do lunch. I usually skip. Just have a snack or something. And eat bigger breakfast and bigger dinner. It saves dishes. And you don't really need that much food anyway. So, but today, because it was chilly this morning, and uh, I felt like having a little more. So I had a chicken salad sandwich with chips. There's a little stack of rocks that somebody did, but fascinating. Some kind of major upheaval, earthquake, volcanic, I don't know. My perch up on the hill, that's where I go usually and read. It's been raining the last couple of days, so it's nice to get out of the boat. Always tricky to get out of this kayak. Get a little bit old for this stuff. Always a balancing act, a little threatening. I'm a little bit gun shy since I flipped the kayak up in Ramray Harbor earlier in the year. And got soaked. Fortunately, my emergency ladder did the job. And got my fire ring set up for this evening. I'll set out there and enjoy a fire tonight. Should probably finish that bottle off, I'm suspecting. Here's a chart of Harrison Bay and the area that I kayaked in today.